This is the seventh and final venue of a career retrospective uh, exhibition of the artist Kehinde Wiley. This is a really blockbuster exhibition by one of the leading artists of his generation. It's the image of the African-American male, especially in large uh, historical style, especially Baroque paint, uh, style paintings. Uh, oversized canvases that um, remix our expectations. They're huge works, uh, huge works that are drawn on historical precedent, so on earlier pieces from uh, the Netherlands and from a number of countries, France and so on, Europe, Western Europe, the old master paintings. And in those, into that field, he uh, brings these and he replaces the, the historical sitters with new uh, African-American subjects. So what he's really doing is, is he's reinventing portraiture and he's really reinventing who it is we see on the walls in the museum. The title of the exhibition is A New Republic. It's not the New Republic, it's a new republic. It's a new republic because while at once it points to the past, it also points to the future. It's about taking the body language of, let's say, the French Rococo, but at the same time using the people who you would pass generally in the streets without giving it a second thought to, perhaps. These paintings are about chest beating. They're about that feeling you get when you go to the Louvre and you see a painting that contends with you on a physical scale. These paintings are referencing old European paintings that started this language, and I'm trying to use this language to make a point. The point is that anyone deserves to be celebrated on a massive scale of this type, and I hope that by exploding these paintings into such a large uh, scale, we recognize the fr fragility of individual people and, and how strange it feels to be on such a large scale, but also the possibilities of, it, of the individual. But one thing that's really cool is that uh, I'm street casting. I'm finding individuals in the streets who are minding their own business, trying to get to work, and the next thing you know, they are in a grand narrative painting in a museum somewhere. What many people don't happen to know is that uh, many of them are wearing what they decide to be uh, uh, wearing in the painting, so it's, 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 a, it's an act of self-description in a way. But also, I'm going through art history books with the sitters. I'm asking them to look at historical paintings and imagine themselves as some of these sometimes dignified looking, sometimes clownish and ridiculous looking aristocrats, and how they can sort of play this game with me. Um, and I think, in that sense, it's about a kind of uh, double uh, uh, image making. It's a Kehinde Wiley show, but it's also a show that's as much about each of those individual sitters. I want people to uh, uh, allow for a type of empathy when looking at the work and recognize that art is not about providing easy answers or uh, singularities, but rather provocations. Art is about pushing you to look inside of yourself and say, what do I feel when I look at this? There's as many responses to an individual painting as there are viewers, and I hope that A New Republic represents us a new set of viewing possibilities. Mm -hmm.